Um, so why does, why does Frozen need to be told with song? Hmm. Well, I think, hmm. I think song uh, is best told, I mean, a, a, an emotional story, uh, really anchored in characters and anchored in their, their struggles together. Uh, shines through song, and this is this is a relationship story about a family, and so I think it lends itself to that. Uh, how do you tell Frozen a Frozen story without snow? <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got Elsa, <laughs> so if you don't have snow in the landscape, she can create snow wherever you want it, and so we did it, you know, in autumn this time. Um, can you describe the song Into the Unknown and what it brings to the film? I think uh, Elsa hears a calling um, uh, and she is first tries to shut it out, but, but it, there's no denying it. Um, it's, it's dangerous for her to accept the call, um, but um, uh, ultimately it starts the whole journey. Um, Jen, can you explain how you um, approach the myth of what Elsa and Anna's story yeah, um, in doing our research, we started reading a lot about mythic figures and how they are uh, magical in uh, the world relies on them, they carry the weight of the world, and that sounded like Elsa. And of course, we know the fairy tale character who is not magical and who in, um, in, endures uh, incredible struggles and perseveres, and that's Anna. And we realized we had a myth and a fairy tale running side by side. And putting the two, uh, to the two in this with the sisters was just, uh, it just really felt like them. I like that myth and fairy tale. Chris, change is a big theme for the film. How does change affect our characters? Uh, change affects all of them. Um, they have to dig really deep to a place that perhaps they've never been before to, um, to uh, uh, sort of survive these challenges that we throw at them. But they all come out so much stronger in the end. Hard-hitting one, Peter. Uh, Olaf is loved by so many. Why do we love him? And what happens to him in Frozen 2? Well, he brings a lot of comedy, obviously, but he also brings a lot of um, uh, sincerity. Um, just like children, uh, they can often be very profound in, in being straightforward in, in how they see the world, and I think we can relate to Olaf. His change is he also is growing up just like the others. So he's learned to read, uh, and he's a, a great trivia buff. <laughs> Sponge soaking it all in. Um, Jen, Kristen Bell and Adina Menzel have returned. What do they bring to these characters? Well, they, in so many ways, they, they embody the essence of Anna and Elsa, or I should say Anna and Elsa embody the essence of these two extraordinary women. Um, uh, Anna, uh, I mean, <laughs> Kristen really helped shape Anna in terms of um, uh, as you struggle through hardships and how you persevere. And, and Adina uh, is quite shy like Elsa, but yet also has this incredible power. Uh, through her voice that is mirrored in Elsa's powers. Um, Peter, Josh Gad, and Jonathan Groff have returned. What do they bring to these characters? Well, I mean, they both couldn't be nicer to work with. Um, uh, uh, Josh, obviously, is um, very collaborative, very improvisational in the, in many ways, embodies Olaf, and really helped work with us on, on uh, Olaf's journey. Uh, Jonathan Groff, um, uh, we get to see a different side of Kristoff in this movie. Um, uh, he, gets, he gets a song. Uh, it's wonderful uh, that uh, he's finally gotten that opportunity. Um, Chris, Frozen 2 introduces two new characters um, uh, from the folks behind the myth. I don't want to say the name wrong. Um, who are they and uh, what do they contribute to the Elsa Anna journey? Which characters are you talking yeah, about? Um, yeah. it's, sorry. <laughs> sorry um, you can say queen, them wrong and it's queen, okay. Uh, and queen Aduna. Yes. Yeah. And Mateus? Mateus. Mateus. Mateus, see. Okay. No, I do it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Just last night. So we've got, um, yes, uh, two of the new characters are Queen Aduna, and that's played by um, Evan, Evan Rachel Wood, who does an incredible job. She's got a beautiful, lovely, motherly voice, and then her singing voice is, fits right between Adina's and Kristen's. And then we've got Sterling K. Brown, who plays Lieutenant Matias. And Sterling's voice is so beautiful and so rich, and the acting is phenomenal. And he plays a wonderful character that um, really helps both of our, our women, but especially Anna. Last one. Um, Jen, Frozen 2 continues to explore the power of sisterhood. Why is it so important to lean into that relationship? Well, I think it, what I love is Frozen always looked at that true love doesn't have to be romantic in the power of family. Um, looking to each other when you're together, looking to each other when you're not together even, um, knowing that that love is there for you. These two women use the strength of one another to get through some, some extraordinary obstacles, um, and that's to me what the power of sisterhood is.